Today I chose to read a work of Dante Alighieri because of my love for the Renaissance era and his tragic love stories and dramatic theme. Dante Alighieri was an Italian poet in the early Renaissance who is famous for his two great works, The Divine Comedy and The New Life. In his youth, he studied poetry such as the Greek Latin poetry of Homer and Virgil. His poetry style differed from most because he chose to write about his personal passions. Dante is known as the father of the Italian language and one of the greatest poets of world literature. When Dante was nine, he experienced love at first sight when he met a neighborhood girl named Beatrice. Reflecting on his first meeting with Beatrice, he later wrote, from that moment forward, love fully ruled my soul. Although he only met Beatrice twice, she became the inspiration for all of his works, and she was in the Divine Comedy and the New Life. When Beatrice died at the age of 24, Dante withdrew into intense study and began writing poems dedicated to her memory. These poems became known as the La Vita Nu, The New Life. La Vita Nuva, The New Life, Vision of Beatrice's Death by Dante Alighieri. Lying there, thinking of my fragile life and seeing how slight its substance is, Amar began to weep where, his heart li where he lies in the heart, at which my spirit was so distressed that sighing, I said in my thoughts, truly it will be that my lady dies. Then I was so filled by distress, I closed my eyes, heavy with that evil. And so scattered were my spirits, they all went wandering. And then imagination, roaming wildly, and far from truth, showed me women's faces hurrying by that cried to me, you will die, you will die. Then I saw many fearful things and this empty dream that I had entered. I seemed to be in a place I did not know, and saw women going by in the street, disheveled, some full of tears, and some crying that flew like fires of sadness. Then it seemed to me, little by little, that the sun darkened, and stars appeared, and they wept to one another. The birds fell as they flew through the air, and the earth trembled, and a man appeared, pale and hoarse, saying to me, What, have you not heard the news? Your lady is dead, who is so lovely. I lifted my eyes, bathed in tears, and saw what seemed like manning rain and angels returning to the sky, and a little cloud went before them, behind which they cried, Hasana. And if they had said more, I would tell you. Then Amar said, I will hide nothing from you. Come see our lady lying. This fantastic dream carried me to the see of the dead lady. And when I was brought there, I saw that ladies had covered her with a veil. And she looked of true humility that it seemed to me as if she said, I am at peace. I became so humble in my grief, seeing such humility there in her, that I said, Death, I hold you so sweet, now that you will be a gentle thing since you have entered in my lady, and will possess pity and not disdain. See how I so long to be yours that I resemble in your feature. Come to me as the heart begs you. Then I departed, all the morning done, and when I was alone, I said, gazing to the highest regions, blessed is he, lovely soul, who sees you. Then you woke me out of mercy.